Hello, good morning. Good afternoon, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Great, and you? I'm good, thank you. It's raining in your house? Yes. Yes, yes. A lot of yes. it's raining. Yes. Do you think the game is canceled? The Selecta game canceled? Probably. Yeah. I live five minutes from the stadium and it's raining. It's raining hard. So imagine, imagine the people that are in the stadium in this moment. Okay, let's start. Let me see. Let me pull up the... Hold on, let me see the page where we finished. Hold on. Yesterday we did how much and how many, I'm sorry, um, comparatives, correct? Hello, me pueden oír. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, but I, I have some issues with the audio because of my internet. Yes, maybe because of the rain. Yes. It's like a delay. Yes, it's delayed. Oh, you have delay. You have a delay problem. Okay, no problem. I see. Let me see. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay, good, thank you. So, um, knowledge check. So, which is correct? In my opinion, houses are as expensive apartments in my neighborhood. Hmm. Huh? In my opinion, houses are expensive. In my opinion, houses are expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Or in my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments. Which is the correct? The third one. Third one, good, thank you. The third one, yes. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house mm -hmm. isn't as big his is big as his or isn't as big as his? 
the third one, I think. Yes, the third one. Yes, it's the third one. So I don't like to live in apartments because they are, I'm sorry, they don't have as many rooms as houses, don't have many rooms as houses, or don't have as much room as houses. The fifth one. Good. My new house doesn't have blank space as my old one. It's wrong. What is the question? Too much. As much, oh, okay, as much, okay, it's comparative, as much. Okay, let's do as much. Okay, let me see the next video. Okay, let's watch this video is I wish. Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I wear it thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. And in order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents, or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is 
I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever compliment, right? didn't live with my parents there we go there we go and as you can see the other example is quite similar I wish I had my own apartment in that second example we can see that it's no longer in its negative form so therefore we're gonna use the verb in the past so the example will be I wish I had my own apartment so this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's... Um, here at the bottom after which where is used with old pronouns so if we think about the example life is difficult and we want to express a wish then we can say I wish and the subject again life where easier uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement I wish life weren't so difficult but it's basically the same pattern that we're following in the last example my parents won't stop worrying about me well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes. We want to express family wishes. We want to express health wishes. We want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? 
well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Um, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. Okay, so let's do it. Let's let's practice our way here. What do you think I wish is in Spanish? Deseo. Deseo. Something I want. Uh, I, I would like uh, to. Mm -hmm. How I wish. How I wish you were here. Do you like Pink Floyd? Do you know Pink Floyd? Okay, vamos a la clase, no. la clase sin hablar hoy entonces. It's no problem. So, <laughs> podemos hacer todos los exercises if you want. Okay, I wish something in the present. In this moment, I wish I had So in this moment I wish I had 1 million dollars. But listen, yes this is past. But this is present, I wish. Saben que esto es al revés en español. Si ustedes leen este, en esto en español, lo van a leer así. Yo deseo, yo tuve, yo tuve un millón de dólares. Oh, wow, cien mil, no, tampoco. Too much money. <laughs> si uno lo lee, lo, lo lee en español, traducido literalmente es, yo deseo, yo tuve un mil, un, uh, un millón de dólares. En español decimos, ¿cómo lo decimos en español? Yo desearía tener un millón de dólares. Si se dan cuenta, desearía, I van past, pero tener van presente. Yo quisiera tener. ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces también es igual en español. Porque hay una parte que se dice en pasado también. Ok. So I wish I had one million dollars. Yes, Carmen, what is something you wish? Mm, let me see, teacher. I wish I had a vacation. I, I wish I had vacation last week. Okay, I wish I had vacations last week. Aunque last week is past. Something you wish in this moment. I wish I had vacation on Soon. November. Okay, good. I wish I had vacation on November. Okay, good. All right, let me see. Um, it is Mulato, give me an example. Okay, Alejandra, Milena, give me an example. Um, I wish I had a lot of makeup. <laughs> a lot of makeup. Yeah. He has a lot of, like a, a, a room, my own room. So, 
collect makeup. Okay. Typical woman. <laughs> yeah, so it's like some women would say, I wish I had a walk in closet. Carlos Alessa, tell me something you wish. I wish I go to Spain. I wish I went. I went. To Spain. Okay, good. Genaro, give me an example. Let me see. I wish I had war for Horus. I wish I worked. I wish I worked. Yes, yes. Four hours. I worked for hours. Good. All right. Hey, de verdad, no, nunca he oído Pink Floyd. No, teacher. Yes. Really never heard Pink Floyd? Okay. But Genaro, you like rock music. Oh, no, it's Daniel that likes rock music. Pink I Floyd. Know. We don't need no education. Dun, 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 dun. That's Pink Floyd. They have a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. Que se llama, I wish you were here. It's a very, very beautiful song. I recommend you listen to it. How I wish, how I wish you were here. It's his friend que murió. Uri. Can you tell me something about I wish? Uh, I wish I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could fly. Yes. You said I can. Perdón. No, no, no. It's Sorry. Okay. I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wish I could be invisible. Yes, me too. Yeah, that'd be cool. All <laughs> right. Daniel Edgardo, give me an example with I wish. I wish I spoke a lot of English. All right, cool. Um, listen, I have a question. What do you think people in the stadium wish in this moment? I wish... Uh... Excuse me, Daniel, are you, are you in the stadium? No, no, teacher. <laughs> okay, ah, listen to my question. What do you think people in the stadium wish in this moment? Yes. Okay. They wish uh, the selection to be selected. The selector win. <laughs> yeah, pero más que eso, I think in this moment they wish it. Because they're raining. An umbrella. Umbrella, yes. Yes. So, Daniel, al principio usted dijo, I wish. I yes, wish? Yes, no, yes, they, because they are in the stadium. Ah, okay. I imagine they, in this. Mm -hmm. They wish, they wish. They got, they got an umbrella. Okay, good. Yeah, they wish they got an umbrella. Or they wish it stopped raining. Okay. Or oh, algunos, maybe they wish it continued raining. Because maybe. It, yeah, because Panama podría ganar. <laughs> All right. In El Salvador, politics in this moment is very, very controversial. Some people wish Arena had been president, or some people wish FMLN had been president. No, sería. Some people wish Calle. No. Oh, yeah. Some people wish Arena had power. Some people wish FMLN had power. Yes, sí o no, aún existe gente que quisiera eso. Pero oigan lo que estoy usando, estoy usando had, no have. 
¿Ves? Estoy diciendo, hay gente que aún quisiera que Arena tuviera el poder o hay gente que quisiera que el Frente tuviera el poder. Y se usa en pasado porque da a entender que no lo tienen. Por eso se dice, I wish. Yes. Ok, Daniel Palacios. I, good evening, teacher. I wish, I wish I had, um, I had, um, rest, a rest. Okay, so I wish I rested. I rested. I wish I rested. I rested. Rested. In past. Ah, okay. I uh, I wish I rested. Yes. Yes, I wish I rested. Me, I wish. ¿Cuál es el pasado de I am? I was. I was. I was. I, okay, listen to this. I wish I was alone for three days. Only me. Imagine Teacher, my, we, yes. Sorry, uh, I have a question. Um, we we can combine uh, two subjects in the in the um the one I don't know statement or something like that. For example, um, I wish my mom uh, had had a lot of shoes. Yes. Of course, okay. yes. Ahí está, ya empezó el partido, lo están televisando. ¿Perdón? Por eso están callados todos. Ey, no es justo, yo literalmente estoy un cuarto sin tele, man. Por eso, ah, todos están así. Ah, ajá. ¿Qué minuto van? Eh, ni eso me pueden contestar. I don't know. 25. 25, minute 25, okay. Okay, so um, what was my example? I'm sorry, I wish. You wish you was alone for three days. Oh yes, thank you, thank you so much. I wish my wife tells me. Baby, I am going to go on vacation with my family y me voy a al niño. Okay. How many days? Three. Okay, only three. Three is okay. Five days? No. Bueno, you, yes. Mi hijo, no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, Carmen, Lisa, tell me something you wish. I wish, sorry, I wish I celebrate my husband's birthday on the beach. I wish I celebrated everything in past. Yes, I wish I celebrated my husband's birthday on the beach. When is his birthday? October 22nd. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a surprise? Yes, yes. All right. All right, good. Okay, good. So then that is I wish. Who has not participated? Let me see. Nidia. I wish I could buy my own house. I would, okay, hey, there you go. I wish I could buy my own house. Good. Nidia, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Give me an example, I wish. I wish I have a new car. Okay, good. 
I wish I had a new car. Sometimes I wish I had air conditioner in my house. Yeah, me too. So remember, everything is in past. I wish I had, I wish I. Ahora, hagámoslo con adjetivos. So listen, Carmen said, I wish I celebrated. So celebrated, it's a verb. I wish I had a new car, it's a verb. I wish I, I went to Spain, went, it's a verb. When we use an adjective, we use, I wish I were. What is an adjective? Beautiful. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you. Uh, example or me? <laughs> no, okay, look, an adjective, right? So for example, example, okay, example. I, well, I am married, that's, that's about that. But example, oh man, I have problems with my wife. I wish I were single. It's an example, okay? <laughs> no, it's an example because I am married. Yes? No, okay, but I, come on, people. No, I'm participating. Isn't it? Uh, 14 I people, was, nobody I speaking. Wish I was. No, I wish I were. I were. Yes. Oh. We use I wish I was. I, I will explain to you when I say wish I was. We use I wish I was in a place. But here, I wish I were single. Okay, can you give me another example? What is an, another? I, I wish, wish I will taller. I were taller. Okay, good. I wish I were taller. Good. Another example, please. Okay, I let's, con let's continue. I wish I were fitness. The... I'm sorry. I wish I were fitness. What is fitness? Uh, fit? Yes, or... uh, Taria fit. I wish I were fit. Okay. I wish I won the lottery. I would, ah, uh, no, it's lo que, eso fue lo anterior, porque es con verbo. Win is a, is a, is a verb. So it's, I wish I won the lottery. Yeah, I no, wish ganar, we're win, win is the verb. In past one, W O N. Okay. W O N, ah, one. Yes. Okay, thank you. It could good. be, I wish I were rich. Rich, okay, good, yes. I'm sorry, who had a question? Me, um, we use, I wish I were uh, beautiful, for example. Uh, we always use uh, I wear yes. with plus a digit. With all of them, yes. Okay, Ahora, okay. Your question, Alejandra, you said, I wish I was. You will hear people say, I wish I was. For example, some people say, man, I wish I was rich. It's not correct. It's I wish I were. Okay. Uh, you say were. Yes. Y were para todos. Todos los pronombres. For the third person too. Yes. Because for in for the every pronoun. Platform. Okay. Thank you. She were. He were. Okay. Yes. In this ex in this case, yes. I wish I were. All right. 
All right, Carlos, give me an example of I wish I were in an adjective. Uh, I wish I were tall. So in this, you're you're short? No. Um, creo que está en el promedio. Ah, okay, because listen to Evelyn's example. Because Evelyn dijo, I wish I were taller. Ella dijo, Quis quisiera ser más alta. Pero si usted dijo, quisiera ser alto, da a entender que usted es bajo. Bajo. Ah. Por, uh, uh, ¿Me entiendo? O sea, así, así lo captaría. Yeah, yeah. Entonces podríamos decir taller. Taller. Ok, Yes. I wish I were ugly. <laughs> yes. Para ver cómo se siente, but it's impossible. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uri, give me an example. Teacher, la verdad es que estoy un poco confundida. Okay, thank you. ¿En qué? Um, en cómo lo tengo que usar ahorita con los adjetivos. Es que me confundí en el was y cómo lo debemos de usar ahorita con los adjetivos. Ok, good. Thank you. Denme un segundo y vamos a empezar otra vez esto de cero y les voy a explicar la diferencia de I am y I was. Much. Good. Thank you. Hold on. Give me one second. Permítame, solo voy a ir a la agua. Ok. Okay. No. okay, teacher. Thank you. Hold on. Ok, hello. Hey, metieron gol. Yes. Who? Uh. Bien. Enrico Dueña. ¿El Salvador? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ok, good. <laughs> nice. All right, ok, look. Vamos a empezar algo. Para mí esto es algo muy importante y bien, bien básico es muy importante. I am.
Okay, class, look. When you say I am, next is an adjective. Okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra. Okay, Uri, no sé, no sé, la verdad, no sé si está bien el partido, está bien, pero los que van a no. participar, háblenme, por favor, porque tengo 14 personas y realmente nadie está hablando hoy. So, no sé si están viendo dos cosas a la vez, pero lo voy a explicar no. y, y solo voy a hablar con la gente que me conteste. No, yo no lo estoy viendo. No, oh, no, no, it's okay. Solo, no, pero gracias para que así... Si alguien va a hacer menos partido, claro, está bien, véanlo. Pero entonces me enfoco con otras personas. Ok, look. I am. And then an adjective. What is an adjective? A characteristic per yes. person. Ok, per good. Thing. Good. An adjective, yes. It's one word describes. Yes. Uri, are you married? No, I'm single. Ok, good. I am single. Mm -hmm. Single is an adjective. Carlos, give yes. me an example of an adjective. Any adjective. Uh, uh, I, am, I am. Don't complicate. I am happy. I am hot. I am sad. I am tall. I am short. Don't complicate yourself. Just adjective. Any adjective. Like what I am, am, Woody. I'm single. I am young. I am young. Very good. I um, am a good person. All right. Excellent. I am a good person. Okay. Um, Alba. Give me an example. Yes, sure. Lorena Peña. Is a he or a she? Uh, that's a difficult she. question. <laughs> <laughs> you are mean, teacher. Hey, hey, yes or no? <laughs> Too mean. <laughs> no, un día la vi en persona, like, oh. I think she's a she he. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. She. <laughs> okay, but Lorena Peña, she is. Ugly. Oh, yeah. ugly. <laughs> oh man. Nidia Oh God. Nidia Diaz is ugly. No problem, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Carmen El Salvador. We are. We are about the, the country or the citizen? I don't know. So in El Salvador, we are. Okay. In El Salvador, we are smart. Okay, good. We are smart. All right. So that's the difference. I am and an adjective. O, a title. Que también termina siendo un adjetivo. ¿Saben qué es un title? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, good. Um, si alguien me pregunta, where do you work? Oh, I work in Rosales Hospital. Are you a doctor? No. Are you a nurse? No. What is your title? Oh, okay. I am an accountant. Life, life occupation? Yes. Um, okay. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Good. So listen, exactly. I am a teacher. So title, no solamente el diploma, okay? Title is supuesto en, en, en la empresa. Un día, si ustedes están enojados en una tienda con alguien, por ejemplo, en Claro, it's frequent. La persona, blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, what is your title? ¿Cuál es su título? Pero no lo estoy ofendiendo porque no le estoy diciendo cuál es su nivel académico. No. 
What is your title? ¿Cuál es su puesto acá? Ah, atención al cliente. Ok, good. Thank you. Can you please speak with a supervisor? <laughs> yes. Sí. Eso mm -hmm. lo escucho seguido. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yes, eso le voy a decir. Nunca, nunca le han preguntado eso a usted. Okay. What's your title there? Sí. En español, pero sí. Ah, sí. Sí lo preguntan a cada rato. Ajá. Y esto no, y créanme, no soy ofensivo. Solo porque en español decimos cuál es su título, pero podemos pensar que es ofensivo porque no estamos preguntando cuál es su nivel académico. Sino cuál es. ¿En qué ejerce en la empresa? Pues, o sea. Yes. Por ejemplo, imagine. Uh, where do you work? Oh, in the government. Imagine all the spaces in the government. Eso no ayuda mucho que alguien me diga ah, trabajo en el gobierno. Y si quiero saber un poco más. Oh, what's your title? Oh, I am a. Uh, I don't know, diputado, suplente, or whatever. Easy money. So easy. <laughs> Por mi casa vive el diputado suplente de Margarita Escobar. Y, oh, man, es un gran... Y le digo, mira, ya lleva seis meses con COVID. Ya no es récord eso. No, no, no podemos hablar de eso. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Siempre lo molesta. Es que es somos cheros, pero. Oh, wow, good money for you. <laughs> uh, pa, 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 let me see. So, do you understand when you say I am, it's an adjective or a title? Yes, I okay. got it. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I got it. Okay. Look at Uri in her picture. She's hot. Ah. Uh, example. <laughs> Excuse me, okay, Uri, I will explain. Uh, thank you. <laughs> She's, uh huh, because imagine, hey, hey, uh, the upper style on chair. Oh, yeah, let me see her picture. Ah, oh, she's hot. Hot in English is okay. It's it's good. It's oh, she's pretty. She's cute. She's sexy. Hot in Spanish is different. <laughs> yes. Oh man, look at her picture. Wow, she's hot. And it's an adjective. Okay, do you understand? Yes, yes, sure. teacher. Yes. Yeah, good. Ok, yeah. esto es bien, bien básico, pero les voy a explicar por qué les estoy diciendo esto. Hoy vamos a ver, I, she, he, we, they, sin, sin auxiliar, cuando no usamos I am, Example, look, aquí si ven en I, ya no pongo am, porque voy a usar un verbo. I work. I cook. I cook. I think. I think, good. So it's not correct to say I am, y este, este es un error muy común. Mm -hmm. I am work. I am no. cook. No, some people say it's, it's a very normal mistake. And this is the difference. When a teacher, porque, I am, I am. This is the difference. When we say I am, you say an adjective or a title only. You can't say a verb. You can't say I am cook. But you can say I am cooking. I am cooking, good, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, you can, but that that's un, un tiempo, tense, present, continuous. Mm -hmm. But in descriptions, you say I am and a title. Complete. A ver, ¿quién me quiere? ¿Quién? You're welcome to answer. How old are you? 
25. Complete. I am 25. Yes, I am 25 years old. Good. Ahí está la gran incentive, porque mucha gente dice, I have 25. ¿Por qué dicen I have 25? Porque en español así decimos, yo tengo 25. And in English, ¿por qué es I am? Porque uno dice I am, I am 25 years old. ¿Y qué es old? Yeah. Oh. It's an, it's an adjective. Yes? Yes. Por eso es que se dice I am y no I have. Because the complete sentence is I am 25 years old. All right? So listen. Where do you work? I work in the hospital. I am a doctor. You see the difference? The mm -hmm. I am EI? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, Thank you. Okay. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Daniel, where do you live? Edgardo? Yeah, Daniel Edgardo, thank you. Where do you live? I live in Chachuapa. Good. I, por qué no I am? Because live uh, is a verb, right? Yes, 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 I live, uh-huh. Uh, I live and the complement. Uh-huh. Or you can say I am, city. or you can say I am Chalchapuane, ¿cuál es gentilicio? ¿Cómo es gentillo? Chalchapaneco. Gentilicio. Gentilicio, thank you. Chalchapaneco. Okay, so that's an adjective or a title, right? So you can say that. I am Chalchapaneco. I am Chalchapaneco. 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 That I am Chalchuapaneco. Oh, there yeah, I am Chalchuapaneco. Chalchuapaneco. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, Marvel, where do you work? Me pueden contestar con el verbo o adjetivo. Depends. Where do you work? I work in the hospital. I work in Siman. I work in, where do you work? Where do you work? Where? And I work in, in textile. Okay, good. I work in a textile. Oh, yes, in San Bartolo, right? No, Soya Pongo. In Soya Pongo. Okay, Soya Bronx. So, good. I work in textile. Y recuerden, cuando, cuando alguien ah. les pregunte eso, ustedes pueden contestar las dos formas. ¿Dónde trabajan o qué son? Where do you work? Oh, I am a teacher. Oh, okay. Or I can say, oh, I work in in a school. All right, Carlos, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Or I am? I am Santa Neco. Good. ¿Cuál es el lema de Santa Ana? Dos veces perfecto. Why? Fascista no. y Santa Neco. No, también otro, sucursal del cielo. Ah. Capital del mundo y sucursal del cielo. Y los migueleños ah. dicen, y los migueleños dicen que el cielo es, ¿cómo es? 
capital del mundo, sucursal del cielo, y dicen que el cielo es sucursal de San Miguel. <risa> Algo así, hoy un migueleño que le respondió, hey, los santanecos dicen que... That's good. So, okay, so I live in Santa Ana, or I am Santaneco. Hey, quiero, quiero probar algo. I'm sorry, Carlos, where do you live? In Santa Ana. Oh, okay, good. Lo dijo Santa Ana. Porque mucha gente dice Santana. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sí, de hecho, un fenómeno lingüístico, fonético, sobre todo. Yeah. La mayoría como que queda corta por las dos A. Yes. Look, Santana. What is it? This is Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. <laughs> Daniel, where do you live? I, I San Martin. I live. I live in San Martin. I live in San Martin. I live in San Martin. And where do you work? I I I am war I am war test field. In textile. Textile. I am war textile. Textile, textile, right? Textile. Okay. Ahora regresemos to I wish. Listen, remember, I wish I, I was, I wish I had, I wish I lived. ¿Qué tienen en común esos? Alejandra, usted me hizo esta pregunta. Uh, están en verbos. Son verbos. It's a verb. They're verbs, right? So I yes. wish I was, I wish I had, I wish I lived, I wish I saw, I wish I traveled. Yes? Yes. Pero cuando decimos I wish, I were, adivina que sigue. Negative, Negative charge. Negative charge. An adjective. There you go, an adjective or a title. And that is the difference, Alejandra. Yes, I get it. All right. So I wish I were a doctor. Man, I wish I were a rock star. I wish I were a pilot. Exactly. Esa es la diferencia de was and were. All right. Okay. And we use the, the old subject for For example, uh, she wear, um, they wear, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y, y, okay. y fíjense, y fíjense, es la misma regla, porque aquí, aquí si ven, cuando uno dice I am, cuando usamos auxiliar, is and are, tiene que ir un adjective, or a title. Por eso es aquí, I wish, I were. Were, toma el lugar de am, is, y are. Y si ven aquí, I, he, she, we, they, no usamos nada. Entonces usamos el verbo. Igual aquí, I wish, I, was, had, lived, bought, Etc. Etc. All right. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, it's, teacher. It's a little complicated, pero cuando lo entienden, it's easy. It's just the difference de un verbo y un adjective. Siempre son arduros o dos. Lo que hace la diferencia de dos son un auxiliar. Yes. 
y ya van a ver, por eso hay mucha gente que dice eso. Where do you live? I am live in a popa. I am live, no. Maybe I am a popeño. Entonces sé si es el correcto. Yes. Pero es I live in a popa. Ok. Ok, class. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Now you can watch the... the... No, teacher, for okay. Monday. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll see you Monday. Hoy sí me puedo en el partido. Thank you. See you Monday, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay. Y gracias por, por estar en la clase hoy porque pensé que bastantes no iban a estar hoy. <laughs> bye, 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 b